Cersei and I have just got done playing. At, and now the play has made her rowdy. Not rowdy, but feisty. She loves this little object. And she's probably not going to play right now. She takes her play so seriously that it actually ticks her off. And that's the opposite of what it's supposed to do. But she had a lot of fun batting this around. Go get it, sirs. We should have recorded sooner. She's done. Poor sirs. We had a lot of fun though, didn't we, honey? Huh? See, I'm trying to pet her, and she's not in the mood, so, bye-bye. Here she comes. Now maybe she'll come back. Get it, sirs. Get it, sirs. She's tired. We played a lot already, like a half hour already. Here she comes. Now maybe she'll come back. Get it, sirs. Get it, sirs. Cersei just came in from outside. Her tail is always wagging, but I'm gonna show you what I can do now. Hey, baby. You <laughs> good baby. She's a good girl, look at that. Look at the baby. She will let me pet her for short periods of time. But if I do it for too long or too much, see your tail? Hi baby, we're talking about you. If I do it for too long, she will get irritated. But it's progress that she's letting me, right? She's really relaxed from being outside. So I think she's going to get playful soon because she probably had a big nap out there. What do you think, sir? You wanna play? Show everybody those beautiful blue eyes. Look at those eyes. She's a pretty girl. And if you notice, I cleaned, I vacuumed. The rugs are vacuumed. And I mopped the floor. Now, ignore the pile of shoes. My house isn't perfect. But let's focus on the cat. Can I pet you again, sir? This is a good girl. Uh oh, oh! See, I knew it though. I knew she only wanted a little bit of petting, and I went and did it anyway. But she didn't use her claws. So, hopefully, we will get her in a playful mood, and I will try to get a video of that. She just sort of woke up from the nap.
<clears throat> when she completely wakes up, she'll fight with me. See? <laughs> She's all lovey. And then she just completely wakes up and snap, she gets me. Oh, sweetie, you're just so cute. I want to pet you. No, it's not going to happen. Come on, baby girl. I want to pet you so bad. Oop. I think maybe she's just getting playful. Huh? Can I get my finger? Can I get my finger? No? <laughs> She loves this She runs back and forth underneath the bed. This is her safe cave. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, come on. She usually gets it. I guess it's because I have the camera on. She likes small objects, but I do realize I really need to get Jackson Galaxy's um, feather stick. She'd probably love that. I know he, if he's watching this, he's thinking the same thing. Where are you, Cersei? Cersei! Okay, let's watch. Ready? <laughs> A little too close for comfort. This is Sadie, and I think she's the next cat I need to work on um, as far as getting along with Cersei. So we're having a little bit of play therapy here, some play time. Of course, every time I turn the camera on, the cat stop playing, right? <laughs> Come on, Sadie, get it. continue using food to get her closer to Cersei. Hmm. 
Basically, I want to try to build her confidence because she's always hiding away from Cersei. So, I'm taking Jackson's advice, making sure she gets plenty of attention and playtime. And we will try the food later. Now, Cersei's out sleeping somewhere. Not out, but in another room sleeping. So, <clears throat> we make a lot of homemade toys. The cats seem to like those better. My daughter made this box, and Penny loves it. There's all these little pee holes, and you put string in it, and toys, and Pen Pen loves that. So Sadie, you're my next homework. We need to get you confident enough to hang around Cersei. Now, her fur looks nasty because of some flea medicine. I need to brush her. And she's looking over there to see if Cersei is around. So maybe this is a good time. See, she hides under that table. Maybe this is a good time to see if Cersei wants a treat. But Sadie generally will hide under that table whenever Cersei comes around. So, let's see what happens. At least the house is cleaner today. Get these two used to each other. This isn't a meal. It's just treats. Cersei is very hesitant. Why? She will. Cersei will eat with Penny, but for some reason she's very hesitant to eat with Sadie. So maybe come here, Cersei. Look at that. She's backing up. She is saying no to a treat. Wow. There is something going on between these two cats. And I thought maybe it was Sadie, but I think Cersei's afraid of Sadie too. Goodness, come on, get your treat. Get your treat. Wow. We just learned something today. It's really not like Cersei to pass up a treat. This cat loves food. I mean, so much that I'm, I have to be careful because I don't want to get overweight. Well, Sadie does not seem too worried. Why don't you push him a little closer to Cersei, please? Cersei, get your treat! Wow. So, the challenge line is a lot farther with these cats. Let's get some more treats. I think I know why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Sadie, come. I took too long getting the treats. These two are going to take a lot of work. Definitely worth it. Here she comes back. All right. They're a little closer now, see? Thing is that with all this training, I'm afraid I'm going to get all my cats fat because we, we are going through a lot of treats. But you know what, we can work on food after this because uh, one issue at a time is what I figure, right? All right, there you go. They're closer, look at this, look at this. This is pretty good. Oh, it's about the same distance, I don't throw very well. All right, I'm gonna need to stand up to pan out a little bit here. All right, let's get a little closer. Look at this, this is good. This is very good. Very, very good. Now, I just got done watching my cat from hell and they actually put a screen between two cats just so they wouldn't kill each other. But right now these cats aren't trying to kill each other. All right. Challenge line right there. Quick, give them a treat. Wow, it's 
spoiled cats. You're gonna get that a little bit closer, not too much. Wow, look at that. That's uh, about a foot and a half away from each other. That's pretty good. Let's see if we get a little closer without any fights. I hope I'm not overdoing it. That's pretty good too. Good girls, you girls are good. You're getting lots of treats today. Let's try one more time, a little closer. I don't want to get them so close that they actually fight. All right, you can give the rest. All right. I think that's enough for today. You're gonna get fat from all these treats. Um, I think if we keep playing with Sadie too, and we keep doing this, eventually it's, the problem will be resolved. Thank you, Jackson, for your show and your website because, uh, Chloe, get your hand away from the cat. <laughs> the challenge line is right there. But, hey, two feet from each other is pretty darn good. So, we'll keep working. Again, thank you, Jackson, for all of your advice that you didn't even know you were giving me. But I am watching and learning, and I hope someday that Cersei turns into a cuddly kitty. It's okay. Good girls. They're being very good girls. It's okay. You can leave if you want. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Bye bye. Overall, we have made terrific progress. I really do have to thank Je Jackson Galaxy for his TV show, My Cat from Hell. Cersei's hardly from hell, but there was very valuable advice on the show. And I'm going to show you what I can do now because I've been working with all three cats. Oh, I want to pet her. She always wants to leave. But see, look, she doesn't bite me. She's not swatting at me. Let's follow her for a second, and I want to show you how I can pet her. Hi, sirs. See, look, she's not swatting. She's stopping to look at Pen Pen. But look what I can do. Oh boy. Let's see if they pass. We did it. She passed with, well, no fighting. Look. A little bit of fear, just a tad. But there's no fighting, no engaging. So you know what? I think this is success. And watch this. Good girls. Good girl, Pen Pen. Good girl, sirs. No swatting me. And I am going to get a cat tower to put right here. Because the cats always lay in this room and guard the cat door. So if I put a cat tower, they can, someone can climb up there and guard it from up there and be out of everybody's way. So that's it. We have great success. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Bye-bye.